Okay, now we're up to the part that's gotten me really angry. Oh, don't tell me what I said. So you have Cassandra, lovely Cassandra. She doesn't say a bad thing, you know. She has obviously observed the situation and she doesn't feel that Timothy needed to have everyone have a go at him the way they have, you know. Like everyone's come at Timothy and she feels like, you know what, him and Lucinda, you know, they're good in their relationship, you know. Lucinda, she can take care of herself. People don't have to go at him this hard. This fight escalated massively. The, uh, the other couples shouldn't judge their relationship. Now she has seen Tori coming at him again. You know, after all that said and done, she's watched it, she's observed. You know, she's someone, she sits back, she observes, and then she speaks when things are actually appropriate to speak. But she doesn't just run her mouth all the time, but when she sees a situation she doesn't like, she will speak up. And she has done in the past before with Tim and Sarah, she spoke up then as well. You know, when she sees things and she thinks something isn't right, she will speak up, you know, and her points are usually very valid, okay? So she has seen Timothy being picked on by Tori, you know, when he hasn't actually done anything in that moment, you know, he sat back, you know, everything's trying to be chill. And then Tori's coming at him saying that he's smug for no good reason, only to provoke him. Okay. Cassandra has seen this and she feels like, you know what? She wants to speak up. You know, she wants to say, you know, this isn't right. You know, this behavior isn't right. And she, she calls Tori out on it, which, you know, good on Cassandra for doing so. It's just his face. <laughs> So Cassandra, she speaks up and she says, you know what, I think that's just Tim's face. I don't think he was being smug. I think that's just his face. You know, let's be chill. Let's, let's enjoy the rest of the party. You know, she wasn't being degrading. She wasn't being rude. She didn't swear. She didn't carry on. She didn't pull anyone down. She just said, you know what, I don't think Tim was being smug here. You know, I think he was just, you know, I think that's just his face. You know, I think all's cool. Let's, let's chill. I think that's what she was trying to do. She was trying to de-escalate the situation a little bit. But Tori, oh, I mean, Tori's face, it looked like Cassandra had gotten up and slapped her across the face and poured wine on her. That's what Tori looked like. She was, this was where she was the most offended. Like she was so offended with Cassandra at this point. That actually pissed me off. The Jaden comment, the whole, you know, are you f***ing deaf from Timothy? Those were nothing compared to Cassandra saying, I just think that's Tim's face. That was the most insulting comment to Tori. She was so insulted with that comment. What? What? How can you be this insulted over a tiny little comment like that? Drinking the Timothy Kool-Aid. She's got like an IV drip for the Timothy Kool-Aid. So here is where Tori decides to get a bit well, nasty. I, I have other words I could say, but I'm just going to keep it PG. She decides to be nasty. And she says, behind her back as well, she says that Cassandra is drinking the Timothy Kool-Aid and that Cassandra has an IV drip for Timothy, uh, for the Kool-Aid. Now, in case you didn't know what that is, you know, drinking the Kool-Aid is, you know, it's a whole, uh, it was a cult back in the day. I can't remember the year. And, you know, he got everyone to drink a bunch of poison and they're dead. Uh, yeah, quite horrible. And for her to say that, you know, she's referencing Cassandra into this, I find that to be quite disgusting. That's disgusting. I actually think that's more disgusting than what Timothy said to Jaden. Like, can anyone else agree with me on that one? Because seriously, I think that is way more disgusting than what Timothy said to Jaden. Personally, I think that's really freaking foul. Okay, that's what I think. That pisses me off a lot that you said something like that to Cassandra, to anyone. You know, you shouldn't be saying stuff like that. That's just, that's just talk. That's just, I, uh, I can't, I can't because then I'm just going to be swearing and I'm trying to keep this PG. But I have a few things I could say about that, you know. Don't back Timothy. Now, Tori is so offended that Cassandra hasn't jumped on her bandwagon and basically that she's not drinking the Tori Kool-Aid. That's how I see it. You know, I feel like that's what you wanted her to do, but she didn't. Instead, Cassandra had her own brain. She observed the situation and decided to pass judgment based on what she saw, 
and she called you out on the behaviour she didn't like. You know, she had an opinion and she wasn't afraid to voice that opinion. There's a food chain here and you are not at the top. Shut up. Now, according to you, Cassandra's not allowed to have an opinion because Cassandra's not a part of your league. You know, she's not part of your hierarchy. What was it? Like, she's not part of your food chain? I can't remember. Sorry, I can't quote you. So, you know, you can have a go at me if I misquote you. But you're basically, and I am paraphrasing, that she wasn't a part of your hierarchy. You know, she's not on your level. You know, apparently Cassandra is below you. Really? You think Cassandra's below you? Who's been swearing and under her breath and then calling people names all night? And you think Cassandra's below you because she called you out on your behaviour? I'm sorry, but the thing that to me is disgusting. That's disgusting. That to me is disgusting. How dare you say Cassandra has no right to speak? I can see why you weren't offended with Jack telling Lauren to muzzle it. I can see that now. Because clearly, you have the same values and viewpoints as Jack. I think, deep down, you agreed with Jack and probably thought Lauren should muzzle it. That's why you didn't speak up. That's what I think. For you to tell Cassandra she had no right to speak? She doesn't speak. But when she does, it annoys me. That's just his face. I'm sorry, but how dare you be little Cassandra like this? I find that disgusting. I find the fact that you say she has no right to talk, she needs to shut up. That's disgusting. Everybody has a right to talk. Even you, Tori, you have a right to talk. Everybody has a right to talk. You're on a show where people, you know, they're gonna voice their opinions. Everyone has the right to an opinion, even Cassandra, especially Cassandra. She's allowed to have an opinion. I'm sorry, but your opinion isn't the be all end all. Not everybody has to listen to your opinion and your opinion alone. I know you want to be queen of the show, but you know, that's not going to happen. Small, small bites, babe. Don't, don't come for the top. For you to say Cassandra should shut up because you think she's below you, you have a lot of self confidence in yourself, and I'm. I'm saying this is a very, I have a lot I could say, but I can't, because I really can't. There'd be a lot of bleeping words right now. But yeah, I'm just gonna leave that there. Let your imagination run wild is what I think that you, for you to actually think that. I mean, you think very highly of yourself. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. You think very highly of yourself. Shut up. I feel like you're like Tim Tim. Now, here's where Tori calls out Cassandra and says, oh, you're just on the Timothy bandwagon. You know, she's trying to, you know, call her out. And Cassandra's like, no, no, I, I like Timothy. I just thought he was sitting there quietly, minding his own business. You know, that was just his face. And then you said, and unfortunately, this is where Cassandra misquotes Tori. I like your face, it's smug. And he did oh, nothing. I don't think I look at your face. Then You're I just like, I, you I look smug. Said, you know, she doesn't get the words quite right. You know, how dare Cassandra get it wrong. But she says, uh, I don't like your face, it's smug. Right? And obviously, Tori didn't say that. Mm -mm. No, no, Tori didn't say that. Uh, so Tori goes off. She's like, what? Excuse me? I didn't say that. I didn't say that. What are you talking about? How dare you misquote me? How dare you? How dare you? No one says what I say. Don't say what I say. You said, don't you tell smart. me what I said. I know what you I said. said. It came smart. out of my mouth. Ooh, don't tell me what I said. Now, what is the definition of smug, I wonder? I mean, it's usually someone who looks overly proud of themselves or something like that, right? So what part of Timothy looked smug? Was it his arm? Was it his leg? What, what, what was it that looked smug? Because usually when people look smug, it's to do with the facial expression. You know what I mean? So what was it that looked smug? Because, 
you know, to me it sounds like maybe you didn't like his face. You know? Maybe you didn't like his face. So maybe that phrase wasn't exactly a lie. Mm. He wasn't doing anything. He just had his, his face is just his face. Now let's not forget, she also didn't like that Timothy cocked his eyebrow and looked around at people. You know, again, that's a facial expression. So even though Tori didn't say that she doesn't like his face, you can kind of guess that she was probably thinking it. You know, like, let's put the dots together here. You know, so really, was it that far off the mark what Cassandra said? Because I don't feel like it is, you know? Now, lovely Cassandra, she actually says sorry to Tori at this point. She says, sorry, you're right. You did say you look smug. She apologises and amends her words. Sorry, you just said don't you look smug. Me That's what you said, you look smug. I'm sorry. She says sorry and amends what she said. She changes it. She takes accountability. She says, yeah, you're right. You did say you look smug. She changes it straight away. Straight away. She actually said sorry to you, Tori. Did you not hear that? Usually when people apologize and they amend what they say, people can move on from that point. Wrong. Apparently Tori can't move on from this. Because apparently, sorry isn't good enough now, you know. Tori is too far gone. She's seen red, you know. Because it doesn't matter that Cassandra has now apologised and said, no, you're right. You're right, Tori. That's right. You did only say, you look smug. You did say that, Tori. I'm sorry. You look smug. She said, I'm sorry. But that's not good enough for Tori. No, no, no. No. Uh, she is getting more and more worked up over Cassandra. No one speaks to me like that. No one tells me what I've said. No one's quiet all night and then comes at me like that for no good reason. Now you're getting more and more worked up over Cassandra misquoting you. More than you ever did over your own husband saying he wasn't sexually attracted to you and him calling another woman out and saying that she should go muzzle it. Like Cassandra has made you more upset than you ever have been. Okay and you're saying that Cassandra has no right to talk. Apparently it's uncalled for. You know, she shouldn't have an opinion. How dare she? I'm sorry. You think your behaviour has been good tonight? Really? Like, how dare Cassandra? There's one thing you don't do, and it's you don't tell me what I said. The words came out of my mouth. She sounds like Cassandra said the most disgusting thing to her. All Cassandra did was call out the fact that, you know, she called Timothy smug when all he did was sit there, that it was just his face, you know, and she accidentally misquoted, which she apologised for, you know, but you are making it sound like she's freaking hurt you, that she's, I don't know, what's the worst thing that someone can do to you? Because apparently misquoting you is the most worst thing that anyone could ever do to you. I mean, gee, you know, Calling you to say, hey, put a muzzle on it is fine, but misquoting you, oh, no, no, now that, that's too far. That's too far. And she's lucky that she doesn't speak. She didn't swear at you. She didn't degrade you. She called you out on one behaviour that you did. That's it. God help me, because I'm calling you out hardcore here, so I hate to think what you think of me right now. I don't really care, to be perfectly honest. I don't give a rats. But, yeah, you, you are... Uh, acting like she's carrying on at you when she hasn't and then you're getting upset like she moves on from that point she decides to enjoy the rest of her evening and because she's doing that now she looks smug now she's smug wow. cassandra smug cassandra are you smug what because you're smiling you must be smug what I I guess everyone looks smug when they're having a good time, right? I think we all look... Do I look smug? I think I do. I think I look a bit smug, don't you? I think I look smug right now. Yeah, I think I do. Shut up. Now, here's where you really start to lower yourself. I mean, you have already at this point. But this is where you're really losing my respect. Because at this point, you decide to say about Cassandra, and I quote... I quote, go f yourself, you and your shitty husband. And you're going to side with Timothy? Go f yourself. You and your shitty husband. 
seriously? Out of everything tonight, I feel like that is the most disgusting thing that someone has said to somebody else. What you said is 10 times worse than what Timothy said to Jaden. It's worse than what Timothy said to you. You know? It's uncalled for. Out of what? Because she misquoted you? She has to go f herself? Because she misquoted you. Wow. Wow. That, that, I really... If that's the worst thing Cassandra's done tonight, like that is the worst thing Cassandra's done tonight. She misquoted you. She apologized, by the way. Let's remember that. Sorry, you just said don't tell me what She apologized for misquoting you. Have you apologized for all your remarks tonight? Should we? I want to recap everything. Because cause let's see. Cassandra's misdoings, she misquoted Tori. Wow. That's a bad crime. But let's go through what Tori said tonight, shall we? Don't tell me what I said. It came out of my mouth. They were my words. I said them. Okay, bear with me, guys, while I read my list because I don't want to misquote Tori here. So in chronological order, she says to Timothy, what the, what the f is wrong with you? with you? She then goes, shut, shut up while Lucinda is talking. Then she says, you, you just, just look, look a bit smug to Timothy. And she also says to him, you're slimy, slimy. as all f and then she says, wow, you are so, so smug. smug. Again, she says that twice. She then goes about Cassandra. Oh, she's drinking, drinking the Timothy, Timothy Kool-Aid. She has an IV drip, drip of Timothy, Timothy Kool-Aid. She then goes about Cassandra that she's not part of the food chain. You know, she shouldn't be in the same league. She's not in her hierarchy. You know, she should just shut, shut up. up. Uh, then she also says that Cassandra's lucky she doesn't speak. She's lucky that she doesn't speak. Uh, that one I found interesting because that was a bit of a threat was implied there. Like... Why was Cassandra lucky she doesn't talk more? Like, what would have happened if she did? Would you have gotten physical with her? Because that's the kind of, you know, indication I got from that. So I didn't like that. And then she mocks Cassandra. Did you guys catch that one? She actually goes, that's just his face. You know, in a, like, a, a, like, what is she, five-year-old? Like, she has to mock Cassandra? Like, seriously, how old are you? You know what I mean? Uh, then she calls Cassandra smug. Yeah, she's smug. And to round off the night, she says... To Cassandra, oh, well, behind Cassandra's back. She doesn't say it to her face. She goes, go f*** yourself, you and your shitty husband. husband. Yeah, you're classy there, darling. Like, that is a class act right there. I can see why Cassandra is beneath you. That's sarcasm, in case you didn't pick that up. Uh, what the hell? What the hell? You know, Cassandra misquotes you, and you say all that crap, and you expect me to believe that. You're on the right? No, 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 no. No. You can't do this because I, I will buy. So tonight, the only person's behaviour who I found the most appalling is Tori's. Tonight, it just got under my skin a lot. You know, she's calling out Tim. She's trying to make out like, oh, he was so bad when her husband's done the exact same thing, which I found to be very hypocritical. She's then trying to push Tim to the point where he's going to get angry. And she doesn't like it when her own behavior is being called out. And God forbid, if you misquote her, you know, if anyone goes against her, you know, ooh, you know, you're evil, you're a horrible person. I mean, she's acting like a five-year-old. She's mimicking people. She's swearing under her breath. She's just acting like a child in this episode. And it's just really made me not see her in a good light, you know? But let me know, am I, am I missing the mark here? Am I going too overboard? You know, have I made a bigger deal than what this is? I don't know, it's just gotten under my skin tonight. I just didn't like what I saw. And yeah, I don't know, it's just, to me, yeah, I just, I just didn't like it. I just didn't like it. No one speaks to me like that. Now, I do wanna put a little disclaimer here because, you know, I don't want Tori to think that I'm just coming at her. I don't know Tori from a bar of soap, so I'm not having a go at Tori per se. I'm just having a go at her behavior that I'm seeing in this episode. For all I know, she's a lovely person outside. I don't know. But what I saw tonight, I didn't like, okay? I didn't like it. I'm calling out behavior. Now, you can call me a bitch if you want. That's cool. I own that. That's fine. But I just didn't like what I saw in this episode. Please correct me if I've missed something. I'm happy to hear the other side. When the show's over and people get the Instagrams back, I always like to check out and see the other person's side of the story. You know, I'm happy to have my mind changed. I am happy for that. But for now, I don't like how I saw this episode. I just don't. There's a 
food chain here and you are not at the top. Shut up. Now I'm gonna call out bad behavior as I see it and if you don't like that too bad and you know what, you might think that I'm not part of your food chain, I don't have a right to speak, well I don't really care. It doesn't matter what part of the food chain you're on, you're allowed to speak. And as someone who eats a lot of food, obviously, no matter what food you are, you're allowed to have an opinion, you're allowed to speak, including me. Including Cassandra, especially Cassandra. She's allowed to speak, okay? So that's my rant. Sorry if I bored you guys. Let me know what you think. Do you think Tori had the right to be as offended as she was by Cassandra? Or do you think her behavior was unwarranted? Because that's what I think. And honestly, anyone that comes for Cassandra, I'm going to come for because I love Cassandra. And I don't like anyone having a go at her for no reason. You know what I mean? Now... Next episode is going to be the commitment ceremony and I hope to see Tori maybe be held accountable for some of her actions. I don't know. I'm curious to see how that goes. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. <laughs>